Yo, how's it going guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. It's my second time trying to record this video because the first time it crashed and of course in the live game Joe Felix scored a hat-trick so you can tell that this card is going to be very very good already. It's a review on future stars Joe Felix. Now how did I manage to get my hands on this card? Well, thankfully a subscriber actually messaged, messaged me last night saying that he'd had a crazy pack. Winning 100 rivals matches he got um, Aaron's future stars and Jao Felix future stars both untradeable absolutely insane look but in today's video we are going to be looking at Jao Felix comes in around 2.5 million on both consoles at the moment and that's just an insane price for this card 92 rated he's had a plus 12 to his overall card and he's had some really really nice boosts to the overall stats as well so if you enjoyed today's review smash like down below and subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content a lot more reviews all sorts of stuff coming to the channel and a mid icon pack coming very very soon but this card here looks just so good so so good and for me i really wanted to try i just didn't think i would have the opportunity 86 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, he's just got pace to burn. 90 pace overall, 92 shooting, 87 passing, 92 dribbling, he's got 81 physical and 49 defending. So like, really, really good boost from his base card. The stats that stand out to me, as I said, the pace, the attack positioning, 96, finishing 90, shot power, 94, 92 long shots, 90 volleys, he's got 90 vision, 94 agility, 90 balance, 94 reactions, 90 ball control, 93 dribbling, 93 composure. They give this guy a great uh, composure rating. 91 stamina, he's got decent strength, good aggression, good jumping. He looks to be a phenomenal card and yeah, I'm very, very happy that we get to try him out. He's got 4 star weak foot, 5'11". Uh, five star skill moves and we've decided to put hunter on him to give him a bit of an extra boost to that acceleration boost up the finishing a little bit as well and i think that that just works perfectly we have him in this team it's not the craziest team as you can see but in my opinion jao felix he just works so well we play him in a 4-2-3-1 i tell him to get in behind and stay forward his positioning is ridiculous so no more uh wasting any more time let's just get into the live game and then i'll show you the highlights that we did manage to get with this Jao Felix in Division Rivals. Our opponent for today's video then, he's got Rivaldo, Werner, Thiago, Nabri, Sanchez, Ramos, Mendy, Alisson, Costa. Very, very nice team in my opinion. Hopefully, this Jao Felix can uh, break down his very good defence. Felix, lovely pass to Lucas Moura. His passing is so good and Lucas Moura, if I could get out of his feet, it didn't really seem to be uh, responding. Um, but yeah, his passing is supreme and I think he would make a really, really good cam as well. He's going to make that run. I know he's go it's going to come and it has come here. Can he get the fake, sh fake shot into Martial? Anderson, I don't know what went on there. It seemed to take forever to sort of get the shot away. Martial, Jao, uh, Lucas Moura, Jao Felix has to score here. Surely, there we go. Gets his first shot away and he does get the first goal. As I said, positioning is excellent. It's what you see on the high-end cards. Jao Felix... His positioning is top class. Really, really easy goal in the end, but he made the space and was able to finish very, very nice. Here we go, look at his runs, and I, I honestly compare his runs as I compare Lucas Moura's passing to my own real life ability in this game. But I would compare um, Jao Felix's runs maybe to like an Mbappe, you know. He's always on the move, he's never static. He's always looking to get that ball, and I think that's so important when you have a guy who you spend so many coins on, you want them to get involved and. He is always looking for the ball, which is absolutely brilliant. Here we go again. Jao Felix. Can he get that pass to Martial? He does. Manages to brush off the defender. Martial looking for that return run. Jao Felix. Near post power shot. Not the best finish. Not the best finish. Um, Alisson with an easy save, in my opinion. Here we go. We have to be good on the breaks against this guy. Lucas Moore, a fantastic run. Really, really good run. Um, and surely he can finish this time. Ball or finesse. There we go. 2-0 against this guy. He's had a fair few chances. That Timo Werner causing me a lot of problems. But we've just been more clinical out, uh, out of the two. Ciao Felix. Can he get that ball through? Oh my word. What a pass. And Lamar can't finish. Can he finish this time? No, but what a pass from Ciao Felix. Fantastic. Ciao Felix holding back a bit. I think because Lucas Moore has sort of taken his spot. But Ciao Felix picks up space. And I think uh, Lamar's offside. 
potentially. Yeah. First half though, the summary, Jao Felix has been pretty much involved in every sort of decent attack we've had. Obviously he's scored, he's played nice passes. I think that his overall game is just brilliant and really, really suits FIFA 20. Hopefully in the second half, that won't be uh, his last involvement. Hopefully we can get a few more goals with him. He's committed a lot of men forward and Jao Felix, can he catch that? Don't know what he's done there with Ramos, but we'll take it. And he's missed the left foot uh, finesse shot. I'm very, very surprised to be honest. Force task weak foot hasn't proven to be the best in that situation there. Felix, fantastic run. Chip over the keeper. That's the composure right there. That's the finishing. That is the top class aspect about this card. And as I like to say, sometimes you just click with cards instantly. With Jao Felix in the first game, I think he got a hat trick straight away. So you can tell he's just a really, really good card on this game. Counter-attacks, counter-attacks, counter-attacks. That's what you want to do when you have a pacey team and you have Jao Felix leading the line. Such a pacey guy himself. And up against Ramos, can we get the finesse? Doesn't really turn too well to get in the uh, position to take on the finesse there. Fini first time. I tried to say finish first time. He does finish first time. And that's a hat-trick. Got a hat-trick in the last game, which I think I did get the highlights with. I just didn't get the face cam. But there we go. In the live game with Jao Felix. He does manage to score. Was it a surprise to me that he scored this many? Absolutely not at all. He's such an amazing card. And whether we get the rage quit or not, we do get the rage quit. What a performance from this guy. 10 out of 10. A lot of shots, missed a few. But now let's talk about the pros and the cons in the highlights with Jao Felix. Here we go then into the highlights that we did manage to get with the future stars. 2.5 million coins, Jao Felix. And for me, it was just an incredible experience to actually get my hands on this card, not have him in draft, to actually test him out in division rivals. And I have to say, he was phenomenal. He ended up with 22 goals in 8 games. Um, yes, maybe we weren't playing the best opponent, but I think that was not such a bad thing because we got to really test out his long shots, his finesse shots, his weak uh, foot shots. Everything was tested out. So I think this review hopefully will cover a lot of the aspects that, from this card. But to get started, what did I love about it? Finishing was insane. He was really, really clinical inside the box. Um, a variety of shots he can do. He can do the finesse shots. He can do the near post power shots because he has a 94 shot power, which is crazy. He can do pretty much anything. Low driven, whatever type of shot you want to do with him. Lobs, um, back heels, anything. He can finish in any sort of way. I even feel like he could score headers because he doesn't feel like the smallest in game. And I think that's really, really important. Skills, dribbling is phenomenal. Look at that spin there. Ball roll, left foot, round the keeper. And at that point, I thought he is one of the best cards I've used this year. Really, really enjoyable high-end card. He's got like 90 dribbling, um, 90 plus stats in every dribbling category. And I think when he's doing rainbow flicks and scoring, you can see how good he actually is in game. His four-star weak foot is really good too. Left foot power shots. I think the left foot doesn't really provide the finesse shot which is kind of a shame but he does have a great um left foot power shot versatility as well is really good with the card you can play him striker left forward right forward cam um you want him probably at striker just to get the most out of him because he is ridiculous in that position he's always in the right spot i think he, what was it 96 positioning 97 positioning he's always in the right spot to score a goal and always in the right spot to sort of link up play another beautiful finesse shot in the background um, passing, I think I mentioned that the 78 long pass feels like a lie to me. I think the 78 long pass is just not the truth. It feels like he can link up play really well. And when you have a guy like Lucas Moore in behind who can't complete a five yard pass, you see Jao Felix and he's doing every pass perfectly weighted. I think that the true quality of this card did show. Stamina 91 can go all game long. Really, really did like that. Uh, fact about the card that you don't feel like you have to sub him off at all and you don't want that from a 2.5 million coin card and 93 composure I think I've mentioned that as well the high medium work rates fantastic nearly ripped the back of the net off with that strike and he feels so so much better than the base card for me that was really important he's the first future stars card that I've actually tried this year why test any of the others when we try the best one Jao Felix you have to start with the best I guess and he truly was a phenomenal card on this game for me he hardly had any weaknesses, I would say. As mentioned, the finesse shot on the left foot. It's something that not everyone um, seems to have on FIFA 20. If you have, if you don't have a 5-star weak foot, it seems like you can't really do the finesse shot so well on the left. 
Don't get me wrong, he scored a few, but overall he didn't score too many on that left foot with the finesse. But with like the, if you don't take the finesse, if you do just straight power shots at the near post with the left, it's so good. His dribbling is a joy to play with. He is one of the most fun cards I've genuinely used this year. Um, I imagine he's a bit like Ronaldinho. When you have five star skill moves, you just want to have fun. Um, in my opinion, better card than Neymar for sure on this game. Uh, strength at 74 sometimes feels a bit weak. And the price, obviously the price guys, 2.5 million is a hell of a lot of coins to be spending on any card on FIFA 20. Is it a lot to be spending on a future stars? Absolutely as well. So I would say overall, if you're looking for a striker who's going to bring you fun on this game, Jao Felix is your guy. You can play him pretty much anywhere. Congratulations to this guy whose account this was. Getting a Jao Felix, untradeable, is just insane. Look, and it was truly a pleasure playing with the card. So, so fun. And I hope... I can eventually get him on my account because he's right up there with the Eden Hazard player moments, with the Cristiano Ronaldo's, with the Mbappe's, all sorts of stuff. Overall, I think maybe a 9.3, 9.4 rating for this uh, Jao Felix Future Stars card. He lives up to the billing as being one of the best Future Stars cards that we will see this year. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash like down below and subscribe for a lot more FIFA 20 content. I'll see you very soon for much more uh, FIFA 20 Future Stars reviews, things like that. See you later.